Hello, my soccer universe. Let's look at another jersey from my collection. Um, before that, I decided to wear Liechtenstein. And despite this being a Europa League background and was looking at the Europa League team, uh, Barnan in Sevilla, I was thinking, shall I change the jersey? And then I said, no, you're crazy, but you're not that crazy. So yeah, Liechtenstein it is, Macron jersey. But we want to look at a jersey that I made already quite some videos about, but now we're going to look into the details a little bit. It's the 1819 Sevilla home jersey, which I think was the first one by Nike. And they got a template. I guess short turnaround uh, always gives you a temp template, but you know, this season Sevilla also has a, a very simple temperature, so I don't know exactly what it is. I have made a video of unpacking this. This was um, one of my latest orders of classic football shirts and in addition it's one of my most popular unpacking videos and i also made a video comparing this one to a fake that i got earlier of this jersey so uh there are some differences as as well so this video we have seen this shirt already quite some i have not worn it a whole lot i have have, have to say but um I think it is time for us to look a little bit at the specifics of what this shirt is because it is a very interesting shirt overall from Nike because especially if you know your Nike shirts and jerseys there, there are some notable differences here and I'm actually wondering if there was a difference between player version and this version here or if they're all the same because there is a whole lot of ventilation on there. By the first look of it, it's basically the template that I came out with in 2016 with this collar here. Uh, the main difference, yeah, even the main di the difference is definitely, definitely here that the side uh, striping is going also to the sleeves and not and I have to pull it a little, a little bit closer. This is not happening with everything else. If you pull it apart, there's actually a webbing uh, below that the other ones don't don't have uh the 2016 one so this is definitely something i have not seen with any other nike jersey so i find this already very interesting then just look at the material how much many holes are in there also very very not stadium like jerseys and the ventilation is even uh better at the back where i mean it's basically see-through i think you can see quite well it's very very meshy so uh that gets me to believe this is definitely a player jer jersey uh or you know that they the temperature jersey they just uh sell the same thing uh everywhere it's a loose fit so i that's the one thing i probably have to go into uh past um games from the 1819 season and see whether uh the fit on the players was kind of loose or not but you know one wondering also on the sleeves we have basically the same material as here on the front i mean the cut is the same as, the, as in 16 it's just that this part here there's the red go going here but you know this cut with having this go uh, right up to the collar is the same um so basically then we also have here that the sleeves have also this very ventilated material which is overall nice and you can see actually the hanger is showing through quite nicely here um so yeah it is not a super exciting jersey uh but severe jerseys really are it's white you want to have white you want to have a splash of red on on there i really like the crest and i have to say for severe jersey i always wonder with this wonderful crest why don't you make I mean, uh, under Warrior, they had a striped jersey. To me, it would make a red and white striped jersey. It would make a whole lot of sense as well. So, yeah, we have the Platico sponsor. I honestly don't know what the couple is. I guess it's something betting related. Um, but I have to say, it's a very elegant sponsor that really accentuates the shirt. Yes, black with the little red really fits nice. And I say, I really like it. I like this much better than uh, they have another marathon bet and whatever on there which is a whole lot more busy although they keep it in the same uh, coloring scheme uh the crest is kind of small but there's uh, so much detail in there i think they uh, so you would deserve a crest about this big uh, that you get all the detail from the flag of seville in there with i think this is the king and then uh, some uh, bishops and whatever uh we have a very two special tags on the bottom 
first of all, authentic football. This is not the typical tag that you see. This is authentic football. I've never seen this tag on a Nike jersey before. Since I bought them from classic football shirts, it is, I know this is an authentic jersey. Another one, I guess if you buy a template, this might be just it. And the other special thing this is a very uh, sturdy tag, similar to the crest here, which is in cloth. And you know, all the uh, real jerseys have a uh, very cloth that seems to be backed by some cardboard. And that's also the bottom here, the No 8 Do, which is the official motto of the city of Seville. I just look, looked it up because I always was wondering. Uh, it, it actually says uh, No Madajado, which basically means uh, she has not abandoned me. As I said, it is the flag of Seville where the whole thing is in uh, gold on red and not uh, here. It, it goes back to King Alfonso the 10th. Uh, who was not very much liked by his um, people, but Seville, he was hiding there, and the, the people there supported him. That's at least how, how, how the legend goes. And I linked to a R article be, um, below because uh, the Madeja here, this is the eight, is basically a bundle of wool. So it's uh, so called rebus. So, yeah, very interesting there. On the back is also something we have a Spanish flag with the Sevilla lettering in there, which I find also, and then we never give up or we never surrender on the back as well. Uh, my memories from that one is actually, this is for me, the this jersey is for me kind of the birth of when I called Sevilla is the most frustrating team in Europe because just when you think they're doing re really well they uh, squander their chances. I also think they got their current coach. Um, ugh, why is the name not come out coming to me when I need it most? In any in, 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 in any case the one that they won the Europa League uh, the next season with. Um, uh, we're also playing at that one and a rare Europa League loss to Slavia Prague was also in that season. So yeah, it was maybe not the most uh, celebrated seasons of Sevilla. They did not finish top four uh, that, but they qualified for the, for the Europa League, which anyway is Sevilla's favorite competition. I have to say it's, a, as I said, not an exciting jersey, but a, I needed a Sevilla jersey. And I have to say it's actually quite nice. Um, Yes, it's within a temp to temple, but it does everything I want to have from a severe jersey and doesn't look um, too crazy either. Because I, I remember they had uh, Homer jerseys that looked always a little bit over designed, although they had a Spanish flag, uh, some summer going on, which is nice. The Warrior jerseys, I like the one with the line going down, but then it's also not really there. So it was in a way nice to go back to a regular jersey if you want to say of course one wish is something a little bit more special uh, for Sevilla and I think the team would actually deserve it still of the three Nike jerseys this is probably still my favorite I did not like the black collar and this season I don't like the color either so yeah this is the one in any case let me know what you think about this jersey and its intricacies as I said I've made a lot of videos with this one it's a regular mainstay of my um, Spanish uh, La Liga uh, weekend reviews, usually now in the number four corner there with the Napoli jersey hangs. So yeah, uh, it definitely serves its purpose and I'm very happy to have it. So let me know what you, how you like it. If you've associated memories with it, give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye!